All right, quick rundown for rebuilding a Mercedes MBE 4000. So with the oil pan off, you can see my new cam. The oil pan off, you can see I'm actually just putting in the oil squirters, pistons, sleeves, fresh. Oh, she's nice. Now, rebuilding an MBE 4000 is a great thing. It is not a great engine in my opinion. They have a lot of coolant issues that are very complex. When you rebuild her, I normally put brand new heads. And why would I put brand new heads? Because they have updated head gaskets that are thicker if it's not already updated, at least new valves and valve seats all resurface, especially on an EGR engine. We are actually in the back of on injectors. So I have the injectors tested, but I am gonna eventually put new ones in there when they come in. All right, so on top of the upgraded heads, when you rebuild a Mercedes MDE 4000, you also have upgraded liners that will have an O-ring right on the very top. Normally they don't have that O-ring, they just have two rings in the block, and then this really goofy shim that goes right underneath. So again, these ones are updated now because on top of the shim, they'll have an O-ring. The heads are thicker head gaskets. And then normally when you rebuild them, that's it. There is no more issues with leaking around the heads. And it'll leak on both sides. This one you can see is actually fairly wet because it was leaking, but this, this one dropped a valve. But now I've got her all in there looking pretty. Do I like the ME 4000? No. Terrible designs like where that compressor is. Fairly complex fuel system, like when they lose prime, if any air gets into the unit pumps, it has to push all the air in the injectors. Terrible to prime. Terrible to do fuel filter changes. And they got one goofy design in the oil filter. There's a dong inside here, and if it ever breaks or falls out, or say the oil filter doesn't push it down, it will send oil to the head as soon as it starts and when it sends oil to the head you kind of just see that line that's actually part of the exhaust brake so it just kills it right off the bat and again very complex very very complex it uses literally uses truck air or the turbo i don't like that but other than that i've got her in there's another thing, we're in a new coolant line at the back of the head, notorious for rotting them off. But I dealt with it. Brand new turbo. Hydro carb doser block. 